Okay, two believers. We are doing another gameplay video, and this is a match I played this morning. Welcome to Mobile Legends. I don't know how to do the sound where it will it will lower the, enemy the sound the of the game. So Smash you're just gonna have to bear with me. I'll maybe if I just speak into the microphone closer. Here we go. Maybe I'll just speak into the microphone closer. But I, what I wanted to demonstrate with this game was the role of the tank and how he is supposed to draw the enemy to initiate the fight so this was a game where you see those and, and the reason why i always choose a tank because i have low skill level i'm new i don't know all the nuances and all the finer points of each character what I this is kind of like just a uh, low skill kind of Hulk type of character. You just I just press the button and it just kind of charges automatically, and then I just press the first skill. I don't have to aim. I could aim, but with this thing, I don't have to. So especially when you're in the middle of a in the middle of a pile, in the middle of a mix up where there's so many things going on it's the last thing you want to do is start uh, aim aim and not hit anything so that's why i picked this so i just press the button and then anyone around me will get hit by that area of effect damage you see those swirling death balls that fly around me so we have a mixture of magic damage from the enemy and physical damage so i think i had to get a mixture of defense also in terms of building my skill uh, in terms of building my equipment so we have this fighter character that we're going up against and going after him. my first skill he's already so I put the first stack on with low health but he ran away to the safety of his turret so there's not that much I can do so I just said okay I'll just wait and rotate to see if I can get some some health stacks from that person but I saw that the Eudora came the electric damage person the magic damage person so I decided to like mm, I'm low health enough that I, she might she might be able to nail me and die so I said I'm gonna go back to base recharge my health and my energy mana and re-engage and I started floating towards the middle over here because there's too much action on the Need right assistance. side. Oh, the reason why I floated over here was because it was time to get the turtle. And I'm sitting there, giving the little turtle a slap in the face, to see if anybody will come and join me. I even said need assistance, but so far nobody is assisting. Need I, assistance. So, because the reason why they're not assisting is because they're in the middle. So I, I said, you know what, I might do I need a turtle a little slap in the face. Our four of jungler finally decided to go and run the turtle. But we got some company. We got some visitors coming out here. And I decided to engage that person. But she's blasting me, so I decided to move away and decided to re engage once their attention was focused on me anymore. And scared them away. So we killed one that mage and get the, got the turtle at the same time so that was a good decision so we got one kill and we got the turtle so this game is about getting ahead and staying ahead and getting more ahead so now we've got the we got that one extra kill and one extra turtle so now we need to preserve that lead so i get in there and, engage and my, my uh, escape is not ready so I almost die right here, but instead of me dying, it was I set my first skill and there was the person attacking me. I was dying and my teammates came over after I initiated that. So your job is to initiate and you're going to live if you have good teammates to follow up your initiation. Because that exposes, it makes the other team vulnerable when they start chasing after you. So this is the key to winning the game is you have to have teammates that will follow up. So you're going to engage. You pick and choose your battles, and then you start going. You start retreating to safety, and hopefully that you live. But uh, if you if you live, that's fine. But it's 
it's not waste the opportunities to get some easy kills for my teammates. So that's where I just wanted to say that it pays to have good teammates to know what they're doing and know when to take that kill. And for most people, they're, they're glory hogs anyway. They're, they're, uh, they like to chase the kill, like this one over here. So here we go, they're gonna go chase the kill. But instead, we decide to drive the turret. He comes in and jumps in. And because he thought he was at the safety of his turret, the turret starts nailing down and decide to uh, go after the turret. And good thing my teammates saw that. And I re engaged and the turret was on me. So it was safe for him to take it out before I died. So this is. It's a choreographed, coordinated game over here. So we've got the teammates. So here I am, I'm getting nailed. I punched my escape. I have one escape button. I actually have two escapes ready. So if I'm going to go deep into enemy territory, I need to be patient and be disciplined and make sure that I have, my, I have two escapes ready at least in case one escape. For one escape you can, you can avoid. Two, one to two enemies, but when it comes to three or, four, three or four, you're gonna need two escapes to be able to avoid dying. So we decided to. So my teammates came in. I was gonna push it myself, but it's quicker to push. My teammates come in push. So we decided to. But the other mage comes in and supports the tower. So I'm low on health because I got no health. So we decided to. So I'm staying, sticking around, engaging, even though I have my both my health, both my escape ready, so I could. But my health is kind of low. It's a little bit halfway. And then the Eudora Electricity Mage is there, so I said, you know what? Let me back up here. And as you can see, my health is not regenerating yet because I don't have the proper equipment. So I have to wait for that to. So I have to wait for that to regenerate. That's where the regenerators get hit by the minions. So uh, they cause my like, regeneration. That's kind of like my passive if I get hit by the minions. But if I get hit by something heavy, then I'll die. So I'm getting regeneration, health regeneration here again, but it's limited. So uh, I kind of stay back. And Your team not too far. But fortunately, we pushed it enough that the minions were able to take down the tower. So two towers down on this lane that I was working on. Right. And now I got a mage who occupies. I'm level 7. She, he, she, she's level 8, so she's one level Killing higher than me. So I'm not going to engage her. I'm just going to keep her here on this lane by putting pressure on this lane so they don't get together and do a team fight and outnumber all the team. Keep her here. And I'm getting rocked. So I use one of my re escapes. So always get, always have two escapes if you have, if you're deep in there. Oh, so we're going deep into oh, enemy territory again, and my health is not regenerating that fast. It is regenerating, but like four hit points at a time. So I said, you know what? Let me. I'm not comfortable with my hit points being so low. I haven't died yet, so but I'm gonna go and take it. Out and use my second escape because my first escape wasn't ready yet. Okay, so my one escape now is ready. I got low health. I'm trying to stay alive, but I want to keep pressure. On. I want to keep pressure on their mage to stay on this lane and not group up for an unfair team fight against my. Mage. So what I'm trying to do is keep them engaged, keep the pressure on. It. Here comes the mage again with her bell bottoms, and she lights me up. And I, one of my, I had to use one of my escapes to get out of it. She's higher level than me, so I am not going to take a direct engagement and avoid dying. So so far, as you can see, I've had one kill, zero deaths, and one assist. And I'm pushing. And I've already taken out the towers. And then I get hit over Nothing here, and I go, oh crap, I don't have any escape. So just to remind, uh, this, this was like my, my decision making fell asleep that I went into deep, enemy deep territory, and none of my escapes were, were still on cooldown. So I kind of got too much into, the, into keeping them occupied, going after that turret that I forgot to look at, like, oh crap, I have no escape. 
to get out of those two. So that's, see, see the kind of mental mistakes I made? I went in, I re-engaged even though my cooldowns weren't ready yet into deep enemy territory. I just had a mind, a, a mind uh, lapse of decision making and it, in it, and I didn't have to, and I paid. I just, I just forgot. I, I was just so focused on taking down that tower, and I got fixated when I realized that, like, okay. So now I got two escapes. So let's not hope that doesn't happen again. So right now I got two escapes, and guess what? The enemy decides to. Pop. Do I need to pop? No, I didn't need to pop an escape. So I re-engage, and so far. Nobody, well, one person died from that, so uh, that was kind of, there's nothing I can do, I, I engaged the enemy and I, and I went back, because I was getting hit, and we'll just wait for that person to come back, the death timer, there Eudora strikes me with an electric, with an electric shock, but I shake it off, and we're trying to take down this middle tower right over here. So I'm keeping them occupied, keeping their attention on me. It's like you, you want to come out to the tank, you want to, you want to get the tank, here I am. Because once the tank is dead, the rest of the team is dead. So they, they know that uh, nobody can take once I'm out, once they, they need to concentrate fire on me. So that way, they can off the team so it's important to kill the tank. So I'm staying here in the middle. No matter. So my my objective is to take down that tower. I'm looking at the map. There's a skirmish on the right, and one of my teammates dies. But I can't leave this lane because if I leave it, then the pressure will be off. So I'm going to keep the pressure on and let my other teammates deal with it. There's one person, it can't be everywhere. I need to make a decision. What do I do? Do I go over there and join the group fight? But no, I was able to say, okay, you join that. I was able to peel off one of them. And look, there's a second one. And what do I do? I use one escape, and I try to use the other escape. I use my second escape, and I was able to get out alive. And that is okay. And then one of our teammates can be engaged. There, and I'm able to get ready paid for it. So that was my second death because I, I, the whole team came after me, and I used both had to use both escapes to stay alive, and I re-engaged, thinking the whole team was engaging, and I didn't have any escapes while I engaged. So that's another that was what caused the my second death was I engaged you know, the rest only half the team engaged so I had no escape because I used just used it all up to draw the team and fortunately my team still cleaned house after that so they still took out while I was dead they took out uh, three Your members of the enemy the team turret. so my sacrifice Four, so we got a three for one. So I died. So three of theirs could could be picked off easily one by one. Also, so after that, after I was revived after my death counter, my death timer expired. Expired. I decided to push the right. I don't like to be in the middle of the action. I want to. I want to continue pressure. But it looks like there's too much action in the middle. So this one's pretty pushed far enough. So I decided to engage the middle and be the tank of the team, be a team player. So I get in there and I see this big mess, There's five of them, and I decide to hit one of my escapes. I was able to get out, and uh, so you see how I drew the whole team back with just one escape, and the whole team came in and started wiping them out. So I got, I got nailed again, but as you can see, because they focused on me, I, we were able to, my teammates were Double able kill. to wipe them out. You see how I came in there? There was four of them, there was nobody but just by myself. I was all alone. So I engaged them and I knew I had two of my escapes. So I drew them to my, to my teammates so they could be all picked off and wiped out, as you can see. 
So that's Attack if you have if you have a good tank like me and you have good teammates, even if you die, your death won't be in vain because the other team you died also. Our so that's why our score, as you can see, we killed them 26 times and they only killed us 12 times. So my death timer expired. Time for me to get back into the game here over here and I decide to go straight up to the to the Lord. To the Lord. Uh, we were able to get it. So that's good for my teammates. I can engage right here. Uh, I got nailed. Yeah, both of my escapes were not ready. But as you can see from the map, if you just look at the map, it is uh, the the Lord is coming down the middle and only two of my teammates are dead so this was so we don't know so now we're dying uh, two of my teammates have died i wish i could flip this back <laughs> but my as you can see in four, four seconds i'll be back out so sorry about that. I don't know why I, just, like I, I, I wasn't I'm paying attention to the action. I probably was just put, probably paying attention to the map. But. So I came back, Initiate come back retreat. to life. I say, all right, I got to protect my turrets over here. We got to keep our turret advantage. And look, there's three of three enemies right there. So let me hit the minions with my first skill and try to keep the buy time for my tower over here. And then when the tower goes down, I decide to engage their minion. And let's see what happens next here. So there's going to be another situation where I'm going to engage the enemy. So we're going to clear these minions to make path for our own minions. We can't get our super minions yet. They're super reinforcements unless we take until we take out the tower completely. But the tower on the right was completely taken out because remember I was pushing that. So eventually the, that tower came down because I pushed it earlier. And I think my teammates also. I have one teammate out there pushing also. So one of their teammates gets taken out. I engage over here to help out. But I said back up. So we decided to take their buff, or enemy side's buff, to help our cause. And then, okay, this is where I'm going to engage. So, oh, I missed this guy, but there's an action over there, so I just have to take out this person over here. Oh, it's still alive. I gotta take her out. Take her out. Come on. And she was taken out by one of my I was ready to nail her. Again. So, it, as you can see, it's a total wipe. So I decided, instead of pushing to the right, I made a decision to engage in the middle in the team fight. And now they're totally wiped out. The death time is pretty high. It's all just a matter of taking out their tower and they're all dead so the point here you could be a low level skilled character like me but you can still make a difference and help your team win so that's today's gameplay mobile legends hope you enjoyed it see you guys in the next video thanks for watching this is bevel only vendetta stop recording Stop recording now.